Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new version of online lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. So today we are going to work with arrays. Now in arrays, we will learn how to firstly use array to declare an array, to input data, to output data, to find some average largest number and smallest number. So firstly, how to declare an array. So in this example, we are going to write a program statement that will declare an array named number that can store 10 numbers. So as you can see, the statement has been given to you. Dim number, round bracket, 9, close round bracket as integer. What does this mean? The number is the name of the array. 9 is the size of the array between round brackets. An integer is data type of the array. It should be noted that the data type can also be double, char, string, or boolean as per the syllabus. An example of how the data structure of the array will look like is as follows. Number followed by 10 locations starting from 0 to 9. Important note, the index of an array starts at location 0, as you can see in the diagram. Therefore, to declare an array of 10 numbers, the size is set to 9, thus creating an array from index 0 to index 9, as illustrated above. Name of the array and the index representing the location where value is stored in the array. The next part of the lesson is how to input data in an array. So for example 2, we are writing a program that will input 10 numbers in the array number. So the program is as follows. We will be having a for loop that will iterate 10 times from 0 to 9. Followed by a prompt to ing indicate the user what to do. And lastly, assigning the value input by the user to the index location i. Let us take examples of values to be input. Values to input are 19, 32, 23, 25, 90, 59, 16, 64, 47, and 71. Uh, how this will be inserted in our array, we have our data structure displayed on screen and each time, the location will change accordingly when the for loop iterates. At the start, the value of i is 0, so the value of 19 is stored in position 0. When the loop iterates, the value of i becomes 1, so the next value that we'll, in, that we'll input will be stored in location 1. And this will go all the way until we input all our numbers. The values added in the array in the specified location. Output data in array. Example 3. Write a program that will output the 10 numbers in the array. So here, we'll be having a program statement whereby we'll be outputting the numbers that is found in the array. So again, we'll be having a for loop that is used to iterate 10 times from 0 to 9. We'll be having a statement to output the values of the array. And it should be noted that in the statement we have two anchor points. The first one, anchor point for the value of i. And the second one, anchor point for the value found at location index in the array number. Lastly, what we are going to do in this lesson is to find the sum, average, highest number and lowest number in an array. So our program what will be to find the sum, average, highest number and lowest number of the 10 numbers in the array number. In order to achieve this, we need to declare the following variables. Sum, to store the sum of the numbers. Average, to calculate the average. Highest number, to output the highest number. Lowest number, to output the lowest number. 
The next part is as follows. We'll be having a for loop again starting from 0 to 9, that is, it will iterate 10 times. And then we will be adding the value found at the index location i in the array number to the variable sum. The first value in the array number is set as reference for the variable value, highest number and lowest number. This reference will be used for comparison with other values in the array. The value in the index location i in the array number is compared with a variable highest number, and if it is greater, the, the variable highest number will become that value. The value in the index location i in the array number is compared with the variable lowest number, and if it is less, the variable lowest number will become that value. And lastly, the average of the numbers is always calculated after the for loop. So here, it's the core program of what needs to be done. We can see we have the sum of the numbers being done firstly. Secondly, we have assigning reference values to highest and lowest numbers. Thirdly, we have comparison to see which one of the numbers in the array is the highest. Fourth, which one of the comparison in the array to see which one of the numbers is the lowest. And lastly, after the for loop, we calculate the average. Once this is completed, we'll be outputting these values as follows. The sum of 10 numbers, variable sum, that's average of 10 numbers, variable average. The highest number in the 10 numbers is variable highest number, and the lowest number in the 10 numbers is variable lowest number. Now let us see an example of how to make use of this program. So here we are in Visual Basic where we are going to run this program. The program has been written in the module and it is the same program that we have seen earlier. You will notice that we have some comments in the program to explain to you what is happening in the program. Now let's try to run the program and input the values that we had earlier. Let's try to open. So the values that we had was 19, 32, 23, 25, 90, 59, 16, 64, 47, and 71. So as you can see, the values have been output as per the output part and in the same locations of the index specified, 0 to 9. The sum of the 10 numbers is 446. The average is 44.6. The highest number is 90 and the lowest number is 16. That's all for today's lesson. If you have liked the video, please subscribe, click on the thumbs up, and leave a comment to know how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.